three hypopressive exercises that you can start right away. Let's do it together. Feet are going to be the same distance as your hip. Then you are going to micro bend your knees. Then you are going to lean forward. Make a double chin. Hands are going to go out and pull, in, pull the shoulders down. Hands are going to rotate because this is going to open the rib cage and contract the abdominal muscles easier. Hands go on the hip. Inhale. Exhale. Apnea. Hold the apnea as long as you can. And feel how everything contracts. Inhale, exhale, ha, ha, ha. Why you exhale like that? To recover faster and to prevent getting dizzy. So now let's do another hypopressive. This time, macro bend your knees, pull your shoulders down, and hands will raise up. Double chin. You are going to lean forward like you're going to lose your balance. And when you lean forward, you are going to bring one leg forward. Right leg forward, then you're going to go in a lunge. Bring the left knee down without touching the floor. And let's do it. Hands on the waist. Inhale, exhale, apnea. The elbows try to bring it forward. When you are in this position, the pelvic floor muscle is contracting very strong. So feel that contraction and hold it as long as you can. Inhale. And recover, ha, ha, ha. And now let's do the other leg. So put your hands at your hip level. And when you are leaning forward and bringing the left down is when you are doing there. Left leg forward. Mm -hmm. The right knee bent. Make sure that your body is perpendicular to the floor. The, and the right knee perpendicular to the floor. Ready, inhale, exhale, apnea. And hold the here. Feel how the rib cage open and the organs go up and the abdominal muscle contract. Inhale, ha, ha, ha. And I'm going to show you one more time how do you lean forward and how the whole abdominal muscle contract during this movement. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this together. So micro bend your knees. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, you bring the right leg forward. When you bend the left knee, remember it's perpendicular to the floor. And my heel is up, my toes are down. And apnea. I want you just to see here, how do you know if apnea is right? Because you can see how the ribcage is open. You see the belly button is going back to the spine. And you can see also the waist gets smaller. Okay, this is very important. And every time when you finish the amnia, you're going to do inhale. And then exhale, ha, ha, ha. Very important. Okay, now let's do it again. Inhale and look at this. Okay, this is a way why I'm turning is because I want you to see how my body lean forward when you do the movement of hypopressive. So remember, alignment, the feet align with the hip, and my hands are going to be on my waist, and you lean forward. Almost fell down in this one. <laughs> okay, so when you lean forward, remember, look at my right knee, my right leg is perpendicular to the floor. And here, check it out. My rib cage is very open. Why? Because I when the apnea is happening. And hold it as long as you can. And then inhale. Ha, ha, ha. Very good. So do, do this exercise. Repeat it three times. Three times a week. And remember, this is perfect because it's going to help you to have a strong abdominal muscle, a strong pelvic floor to reduce any tension in your 
back, to help you to improve your posture, to prevent incontinence, feeling bloated, that's going to help you. You're going to feel less tension in your back and you're going to feel with a very strong waist, a small waist and a strong abdominal muscles. You will see how you posture and you feel better. I love you all. Please subscribe to my channel and I'm going to keep and like my, my videos and see you soon with more videos.